Hi, welcome to video number four, where we're going to learn how to edit shape files. In the last video, we created a polygon shape file that we called lakes, and we're going to use it to delineate all the lakes in the Middlebury area. In this video, we're going to learn three new things. We're going to learn a little bit about how shape files are structured and how they store data. Then we're going to learn how to draw some new features, lakes in this case, and then we're going to learn how to assign a unique name and ID to each of those lakes. So before we go to the software, let's learn a little bit about how shape files are structured. Any given shape file can store as many features as you want. For example, each feature might be a lake. And for each feature, you can then store as many attributes of that feature as you like. Attributes are generally some data. So for example, if our shape file is lakes, each feature within that shape file would be a different lake, Dunmore, Mud Pond, or Silver Lake. Each attribute would be a piece of data specific to each of the lakes. For example, for each lake, we might store its temperature, its salinity, and its algae concentration. And the important thing is that these attributes are, have the same categories for all of the lakes. So all of this data stored and associated with a shapefile can be stored in what are called attribute tables. Each shapefile has its own attribute table. Each row in the attribute table corresponds to an individual feature or lake. Each column is going to correspond to a specific type of data. OK, so let's go take a look at how this works in the software. I'm going to bring up the, the ARC project that we've been working on already in this course and that we worked on in the last video. Here's the lakes we'll be working on. and Here's our polygon shape file that we just created called Lakes. So if I open Lakes, if I right click it, there's an option to look at the attribute table. And you can see that right now the attribute table has three attributes, FID, Shape, and ID. So those are three types of data. But it has no features yet because we haven't drawn any of the lakes. So let's go ahead and draw some lakes, which are, which are going to then appear in the attribute table. To draw a lake, we need to start editing, and then choose which shape file we want to edit, in this case, lakes. I'm going to ignore this warning, which is telling me that the other shape file, Vermont Cities, is in a different coordinate system than the Landsat image. But because I'm not editing cities, I don't care about this. So I'm just going to hit Continue. And the first thing I'll do is I'll zoom in to my lake. Get it so I can see. This is Lake Dunmore. And I'll zoom in well enough that I can actually see the shoreline I'd like to trace. Then I'll go back to Editor. And I'll go to Editing Tools. Excuse me, Editing Windows. Create Features. That's going to bring up this interface over here. And I'm going to click on Lakes, which is what I want to edit. If for some reason Lakes isn't showing up for you, you may need to click this button and click New Template, and then actually create a new template for Lakes. But assuming you're already seeing this, you just need to highlight it and then choose what type of shape you'd like to draw. Polygon, rectangle, circle, etc. I'm going to choose polygon. And then I'll position my cursor over where I want to make my first vertex. Click once. And then I'll just keep clicking to add vertexes. And I'll add as many vertexes as I want to trace my way around the lake. Now, one thing I'm noticing already is that I don't like my shape file being filled with color as I'm tracing. So to fix that problem, I'm going to go right over here, double click on this, 
and I'm going to change the fill color to no color, and I'm going to change the outline color to black. And for some reason that did not fix the problem. <laughs> but I imagine this problem will fix itself in our next example. So notice that I am uh, able to move around on the screen as I'm editing. I can use the hand to reposition myself. I can also zoom in a little bit if I want to see a little more clearly. And then to go back to drawing vertexes, I'll just click this polygon button. Okay, and here's why I wanted that to be clear, because I can't really see the edge of the shoreline well. But I'm not going to worry about that for now, because this is just an example. And I'm going to finish up tracing the lake. And when I'm ready to finish, I'll double click. And I've now created that polygon. So that's my first feature, which is Lake Dunmore. Next, I'm going to go down to Mud Lake, zoom in on Mud Lake, and click back onto my Polygon tool, and start making vertexes on Mud Lake. Now, ordinarily, I'd be a lot more careful with the detail of which I'm tracing the shoreline, but I'm going quickly for the purpose of the video. So please do a better job than this when you're tracing your own features. Okay. Double click to finish Mud Lake. I'm going to zoom out again and head up to Silver Lake now. And this will be the third polygon I create. Double click to finish. And I've now got these three polygons all ready to go. I can't see the outlines very well, so I'm actually going to change that color back to, let's say, uh, a bright green. Make the line a little thicker. So now I can see the polygons I'm working with a little better. And let's say that I decide I don't like the way Mud Lake came out. I made a mistake. I can go to this arrow tool, go down, select that polygon so it's highlighted in blue, right click, and just hit delete. And I've now deleted that polygon. And I can come come down and uh, do a little better job tracing it with my polygon tool. So that's a way you can delete features that uh, you're not happy with. Of course, you can also just use the Control Z or undo function as well or under edit, you can undo or redo features that you've made. Okay, so now we've got three features. Let's go back and look at our attribute table. I'm going to right click on lakes, open the attribute table, and you can see now we have three features which correspond to the three lakes we just traced. So what I'd like to do now is show you how to add an attribute or a data field that's going to contain the names of these lakes. To do that, we need to actually stop editing for a second. Yes, I'll save my edits. And then under this tab, I can go Add Field. And I'm going to call the field Name. I'm going to make it a text field instead of an integer field. And I'm going to limit the number of characters to about 20. And you can see now I've got a new field that's popped up where I can store the names. In order to actually enter data into these fields, I need to be editing the shape file again. So I'll go back to editor, start editing, choose lakes, ignore the warning. Now I can click right in here and assign a name to each of these lakes. Lake Dunmore, Silver Lake, and Mud Pond. 
If you get confused about which is which, just try highlighting the row, and you'll see the, the lake of interest be highlighted in blue. I'm also going to take this time to adjust to give them unique numerical IDs, 0, 1, and 2, and that'll come in handy later. Okay, so we're all set. We've got we've drawn the polygons. We've given them unique IDs and names. I'm going to save my edits and stop editing. I'm going to close the attribute table. I'll also save my ARC project. And we are all set. So to recap, you've just learned how to edit shape files. Join us for our next video number five about how to adjust the properties of these shapefiles. Thanks for listening.